Hello everyone, and welcome to Dufour Yachts at the Paris Boat Show, where I have the pleasure to introduce a premiere for the Boat Show, the Dufour 360 Grand Large. This is a very important event for us because the 35-foot market segment has always been important for Dufour Yachts. They are versatile boats for both family and shorthanded sailing, but also for performance enthusiasts. So the most significant innovation on the 360 is its new deck layout, which is suited to all types of sailing. And also the new hull, which is of course redesigned to fit the new deck. It was also important for us at Dufour Yachts to maintain our design principles, including onboard security, which starts with a level transom that also optimizes onboard space. We'll start by having a look at the much taller transom which provides enough space to build in a large rear platform in relation to the size of boats in this segment. Of course, we find the locker for the life raft that allows you to navigate safely even, shall we say, through the most difficult moments. A key to Four Yachts feature is the enclosed cockpit that provides space for our famous and now indispensable transom sink and grill. It's definitely something original on a 35 or 36 foot boat. Why was it important? Because safety on board is our design priority and a characteristic of all Dufour sailboats. It's really one of our basic principles. But also, simply using the transom grill speaks for itself. It has really become an essential boatyard design statement. It's worth repeating that once the grill is closed, the covers create additional aft seating and a secure cockpit. The transom gate, held up by a hydraulic cylinder, which is in itself a safety feature, doubles as seating to completely close the aft deck. So, these are the innovations aft. They are really the first aspects of our new design that we've named Grand Large 3.0. As you can see, it's hard to miss them. The column style and ship's wheel are really different from what we usually see on a Grand Large. We find the typical high-performance columns, which obviously are not chosen only for their aesthetic, but also to maximize space in the cockpit, both at the helmsman's feet and also in relation to seating space. The bench seats are 20 centimeters longer compared to the previous 350. A second feature is the choice of instrumentation on the navigation consoles. This choice is becoming more and more important to the Dufour sailboat's design philosophy. There is a console on both sides. Here on the port side, along with the space for optional equipment, there is the wind vane, navigation information, and the compass. To starboard, there is all the equipment related to the engine, the autopilot, the tachometer, and the starter. Let's continue and develop the bridge design a little. The well-known architect, Umberto Felci, is always at the forefront of design and new styling. Though the appearance of the Grand Large 360 speaks for itself, the goal was to bring all the advantages that were developed on larger boats to a 36-foot boat. The roof is new and totally redesigned. It is wider and with slightly narrower side decks, which the interior space takes great advantage of. The roof design is very clean, with a new housing that hides all the halyards and sheets and also has a spray hood combing, which is normally a feature generally reserved for larger boats. It's a boat that is immediately recognizable on the water for its appealing aesthetic. As I was saying, there are features from boats in the high-end segments you'll immediately recognize a feature that was recently implemented, which is this new insert, the forward roof porthole, a feature typical of the Dufour 520 that was presented very recently in a video with Choose Your Boat. This porthole is something very important because it brings a lot of light into the owner's cabin. On the four decks, there is also something very important at Dufour. Look at the windshield and the number of portholes, which let a lot of light inside the boat. These windshields, especially on the roof, are rare on 36-foot sailboats, as you've surely noticed. And that's because it's a production fastening technique 
that is really characteristic of Dufour yachts. It is not just anyone who can master these techniques. It is no longer necessary to mention it, as the performance aboard Dufour sailboats is well known. Nevertheless, here we did everything to enhance this aspect of the boat. To begin, there is, as usual, our inclined boom. As you can see, it is at a very convenient height to easily lower the sail. We have also done a lot of work on pricing and on the available options in order to offer those that are most important from a performance point of view as standard equipment. The long mast, an option with previous pricing, is now standard. The jib tracks are also standard, while the self-tacking jib option is also available for maximum ease of use for less performance-oriented sailors. Here we are inside the Dufour 360. I invite you to discover this beautiful space with me. There is a very beautiful light, despite the nighttime atmosphere. In here, once again, I invite you to discover the features that are now the Dufour sailboat's signature. There is a new teak finish designed to be both warm and not too dark. The new linings in soft touch fabric also enhance the interior lighting. The floors are made of solid oak, V-grooved solid oak, unusual on a 36-foot boat. And the new upholstery, which is the result of the enormous amount of work done on the seats, and includes stitched finish detailing. So there it is, an overall renovation of the interior space. An interior finish by Dufour no longer needs an introduction. These are boats on which comfort is essential. In the saloon, the galley, at the traditional chart table. The very bright and well-insulated front cabin in which we have the pleasure of discovering a mirror that creates a lot of space inside the entire boat. We are really in a beautiful space for both families and at the same time high-end owners. A great job was also done on the layout of the bathrooms that I invite you to discover with me. At Dufour, it is important for us to furnish our boats with high-end materials. They are used to adorn all the spaces on board, including the bathrooms. The Corian countertop in this bathroom is evidence of that. You'll also notice that the 360 is equipped with an electric toilet, a new ceramic basin, and new fixtures. This ensemble truly enhances the boat and elevates it to a higher category while keeping it in the same price range as its predecessors. It is present in all the interior spaces that I have just presented. A new philosophy, a desire to move towards more comfort and style at a lower cost. So there we are. It's been a pleasure to discover with you the Dufour 360 Grand Large. Some technical details to finish up. The hull length is 9.99 meters. This is very important data for berthing space. With the bowsprit, 10.34 meters. Hull width, 3.54 meters. Thank you very much. I'm Paolo Serio, product manager at Dufour Yachts. You can, of course, find all the technical characteristics at duforyachts.com. Thank you very much.